Guys, you've been lied to your whole IT careers. When it comes to RAM, you are not the father. Bad joke, guys. I've been watching a little too much Murray Povich, admittedly. Welcome to Reasonable IT. But seriously, guys, stuffing more RAM into a computer that really doesn't need it is gonna make little to no difference. I see this all too common in the field. It's a very common misconception. Hey Johnny, my computer's slow. Oh yeah, just put some more RAM in it. You'll be good. That'll make it go faster. The common misconception comes from the fact that my computer's running slow. I've put more RAM into it and now it's running faster. But correction, you guys, it's not actually running faster. It's just running back up to spec. It's just running back up to its optimal speed. You have not taken it any further or faster than what the computer was when it came out of the factory, right? You're actually and technically not even going faster. You're just not slowing down anymore, if that makes any sense. Here's one analogy that I would just give you quickly and then we'll dive into some real world tests where I can show you. Let's quickly go over this. I don't want this video to be super long, but let's talk about a car. You get a car, it, let's just hypothetical, it only goes 100 miles an hour. That's the fastest that it can travel. So you've had this car for a year and you balded out all the tires. All four tires are all balded out and doesn't get much traction on the road, it's slowed down to 80 miles an hour as the top end speed. It can no longer get to 100 miles an hour. So you go get some new tires, all four new tires replaced. Now the car is then running back up to 100 miles an hour. Now, have you really increased the speed of the car? I guess the effective speed, but not the top end raw speed of the car, you're still just going back to what it was originally optimized to run at anyways. So you've really prevented the car from slowing down to 80 miles an hour. You've got it back up to 100 miles an hour. Do you see what I'm saying? If until you have crossed that threshold of 100 miles an hour, even if it's 101 miles an hour, you still technically have not really increase the raw speed of that car. It's kind of the same thing with the computers, but let's dive into some real world testing now. Okay, so here we are. I got my little test monitor set up. I got my timer right there and our PC with eight gigs of RAM in it. Currently, we're going to power it up and see how fast it boots with just eight gigs of RAM in it. Spoiler alert, it's about 16 seconds. Okay, so now let's go ahead and proceed to add another eight gigs of RAM to make our computer faster, right guys? Straightforward, popping those sticks in, we're good. Okay, just turn the computer back on, started the timer. Spoiler alert, it's still about 16 seconds, guys. <laughs> So the next test we are going to do is app responsiveness, right? Is how fast does it load heavier apps? DaVinci Resolve is what we're gonna be using in this demonstration. First of all, let's take a look at how much RAM we currently have in this system. If we open up Specy here, you can see that we are using all four slots and we have 16 gigs of RAM running in dual channel. Click, click. Okay, it's loading projects. Loading Okay, so now we're gonna test it again with only eight gigs of RAM. If we go to Specy, you can see that I'm only doing eight gigs of RAM, two slots populated, and we're still doing dual channel. Great, we're gonna see how fast DaVinci Resolve, which is a bit of a heavier app, how fast that it launches. So I'm gonna launch it, I'm gonna press play so we can time it. Loading color page, so on and so forth. I think we're averaging about 17 seconds here, guys, yep. We are back again with 16 gigs of RAM. We have a 4K video and we're gonna see how long it takes to render this out. Okay, so, oh, I don't need my stopwatch. It tells you right here, 19 seconds. So I use the same render template just to keep things consistent here. I didn't change any other settings and that took about 20 seconds. <laughs> Squeezing in a little bit of game testing on eight gigs of RAM, Le top left corner, green number. You can see we're averaging about 60 frames per second on eight gigs of RAM and 16 gigs. We're doing 60 frames per second as well. No improvement. 
In conclusion, and the takeaways I would like for you guys to get from this video is check the RAM utilization before you jump to the conclusion that they need to spend more money on more RAM.